I'm gonna demo a little bit about uh, using landmarks. Okay, or basically just how to um, you know, use things that you know don't move around uh, on the body. So like the skeletal structure, um, you know, it since it's a hard material, it doesn't move like you know, like your skin or muscle tissue. It tends to move and look different depending on what position it's in. Uh, but the bones, again, they tend to stay straight and uh, you know they they're predictable. They're a lot more predictable. So um, that's what we'll talk about right now. So let's say again, you know, and I'm gonna do my little kind of a version of a stick figure here. I tend to kind of draw the rib cage, and then, you know, there's a head. I'll do kind of a little triangle for the pelvic bone. Okay, we'll just kind of go with that. Um, and so what you're gonna find is that basically everything else is just limbs. And so when you see me putting those dots there, again, that's basically supposed to be like the shoulder, there's the elbow. And so again, those are those little landmarks that you can, um, you know, you can kind of use. There's the spine, okay. Again, I'm just kind of making some things up, but, uh, you know, I'm making up the pose for the figure. Yeah, probably a little longer. So, you know, the hips, the knees. And then, you know, you got the shin bones, there's the ankles. And then we'll just kind of block in a few feet. And of course, he needs the lower part of his arms, what this figure does. And we'll just put little stick hands. Once again, the more things you can use to identify, um, you know, again, on parts of the body that are, are bone, the easier it is to move the figure around and, you know, draw it in different poses. And so, um, you know, let's say with an arm, like you have the shoulder here and then you're there, and then you want to draw the arm, you know, sort of up like this. Okay, because then, you know, almost like they're checking their phone or something. Again, by just, um, you know, thinking of it as a limb and then where it bends at, um, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, and so, you know, I've got the figure standing here, but let's say you wanted to draw somebody sitting down. Then, you know, you are kind of dealing with a little bit of perspective when you draw the the torso. So let's say there's the rib cage, and actually we'll maybe draw and kind of look in this direction here. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, you can curve the spine. There's the, yeah, we'll just use a little simple shape for the pelvic bone. So I know that, you know, it's gonna, the leg, the femur is gonna attach right back there next to the hip bone. And so again, I want to, draw this person to look like they're sitting down. And so what I'm going to do then is, you know, again, just kind of, I can even just kind of mark where I think the knee is going to be. I can do that. And then there's my ankle bone. There's my other ankle bone. Again, we'll just do some little shapes for the feet. And then of course the arms. And so, you know, if you think of this rib cage a little more three dimensional, but you know, it's going to attach somewhere right there. And then this is say, eh, it's to say he's got the arm out like this. Maybe it's like resting on the, maybe the chair has a, an arm on it. Okay, and so then this one again. You know, think of it three dimensional, so it's going to attach somewhere on the other side that we really can't see. And so there's the elbow, that was the shoulder. There's the wrist. And there we go. Okay. And so that's the great thing about this is that 
you know, yeah, sometimes you, have, you end up dealing with certain angles where the leg's not going to look as long, or like here, I didn't draw this bone very long because it, it sort of pointed at us a little bit. Um, so you are dealing with foreshortening, and you know, you have to sometimes adjust your proportions, but just, um, you know, knowing what is there uh, will definitely help you. Okay, and so, um, you know, thinking of as little points where the the limbs attach, and even again on the back, like, you know, right back here where the, the actually like the neck, um, you know, meets up with the shoulders. There's a vertebrae bone that you'll notice no matter what size the, the person is. So if you, you know, even if you're drawing somebody, if they're heavier or thinner, you'll always see that bone um, stick out back there. You know, my, and that's why, you know, really bony parts are the ones that are easier to identify because your knees, you know, your elbows, um, you know, shoulders, yeah, they're not as bony, but like even your wrist, you'll notice like there's always like on the bone, they're just, they're just areas of the body that the bone comes through more, um, you know, and you see it more through the tissue than you would, um, you know, say like on your stomach. And so, uh, again, you can do whatever kind of pose you want to. You know, I don't know if, um, you know, let's say like the superhero pose. And flying and, and fighting. Or I don't know, just flying. Or leaping through the air, I don't know what they're doing. Um, So then, yeah, you could have, a, have the knee out here, and then maybe this one's out like that. As you can tell, I'm just kind of using that same idea. I always joke with my students that, uh, you know, in some ways when you're learning how to draw the figure that you are, uh, you know, you're almost kind of drawing a stick man. So we'll change the length of that arm and... I don't know. They're not exactly jumping. I just made up a pose. Uh, they're kind of standing there ready to brawl, I guess. <laughs> but um, you can tell I just used the exact same concept. And that's how it is. And so it's actually... You know, it's, it's a really good thing to practice. Um, you're out somewhere with your sketchbook or just whatever, um, and you can, if you have people around you, you can kind of sketch them, try, you know, if they're sitting, they're standing, they're walking, try to sketch out the pose. And then it's actually good to try to do some just, you know, from your head, um, you know, try to draw somebody, you know, running and just, again, keep it real simple. Um, you know, somebody reaching up with their arm in the air. It's always good practice because it just helps you get an understanding of how the figure moves. And again, just how to use certain significant identifiable landmarks.